In this video, we're going to discuss how you could use the Scholar's Bump Cap Insert as a low-key helmet inside of your normal hats, just in case you find yourself in a bad part of town. This video is dedicated to the Gemini Prepper who let me know about this product. Let's get started. I was recently doing a live stream with City Prepping and Canadian Prepper, and we were taking a lot of various questions from people in the chat room. One of those questions that came up was with regard to a low-key helmet for EDC purposes by someone known as the Gemini Prepper, and I didn't really know anything about the Scholar's Bump Cap insert at the time, so I looked into the Gemini Prepper. I think this particular comment by the Gemini Prepper piqued my interest because Canadian Prepper recently came out with the Gray Man vs. Tactical video, so I've been thinking a lot about urban Gray Man concepts. You should definitely check out that video by Canadian Prepper, by the way. It's really, really good. The Gemini Prepper has a YouTube channel and it's been starting to crank out videos. Link in the description box below. And one of those videos is of the Scholar's Bump Cap insert, and the Gemini Prepper was talking about how he thinks this would be a good option for a low-key helmet for urban EDC purposes, just in case you find yourself in a rough part of town. I think these are popular with skateboarders and people that are doing activities where they're around concrete, for example, and they don't want to wear a helmet, but they still want to have their head protected. And so what you could do with these bump cap inserts is that you could insert them in a hat. They fit best in a baseball cap like what you see here. You guys know that I like wearing my Kango hats, which they also technically fit in there. And so you just insert it into the hat like this, and then it offers a level of protection on your head that you wouldn't normally get if you had nothing there at all. So you basically have this thin piece of plastic that helps protect your skull, kind of like cousin Eddie from National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, and this could possibly help prevent you from getting your head injured from various kinds of bumps. These things are fairly inexpensive. They're around $5 each, so I bought a few of them to test out with various hats. So I have my standard black cap if I wanted to go low-key, discreet, urban EDC, maybe put my hood on and go into Chaz or something like that. I could have my hat on like this with the bump cap insert, and then it would be protected from blunt objects. Semi-protected. It's still going to hurt, but it's not going to hurt as much as if I didn't have this on. The Scholar's Bump Cap inserts are made in America, and if it doesn't fit in your hat, if, for example, if it sticks out a little bit like this, you could always cut the lip of it to help it fit a little bit better. It's really easy to cut, and then you have a custom fit bump cap insert for your various hats. You want to make sure that you have the part that says front in the front of the hat, and then the back is actually going to be this open area one, so that if you're wearing a baseball cap, you're not going to even see that you have this bump cap insert inside of it. Here's what the bump cap insert looks like when it's inside of my Kangle hat, which I normally wear here on this channel. And here's what it looks like inside of that baseball cap. So again, I cut down the particular bump cap insert so it would fit inside of this Kangle to offer some level of protection. So I thought this was a clever idea by the Gemini Prepper for having discrete head protection from various blunt objects that you might run into in an urban environment. If you've been watching my channel for a while now, you know that I've looked into various helmets for urban purposes, whether that be for post-earthquakes or having in a bug out bag. I even have a helmet in my building evacuation kit, and I've done a lot of testing of the various types of construction style helmets in addition to skateboarding bike helmets as well. The Scholar's Bump Cap insert isn't going to provide as much protection as a real hard hat would, but who wants to EDC a real hard hat? It'd be a lot more discreet, as the Gemini Prepper has mentioned, to have one of these bump cap inserts inside of one of your hats if you happen to wear hats. So I've provided a link in the description box below on where you could pick up the Scholar's Bump Cap insert. I picked up a few of them to test out with various hats. What I was hoping we could do is go pay the Gemini Prepper a visit over on his channel. I provided a link in the description box below to the specific video that he did on the Scholar's Bump Cap insert. Why don't you go say hi in that particular video and you can say the Urban Prepper sends his regards. We'll do it Lannister style just to say hello to the Gemini Prepper from the Urban Prepper channel. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video featuring the Scholar's Bump Cap insert. Leave your comments below in the comment section regarding this video. Again, I think it's a clever idea for having this for urban EDC head protection that you can insert in any style of cap. So special thanks to the Gemini Prepper for letting me know about this particular product. Go visit his channel and if you like the content that he's putting out there, consider Consider subscribing to the channel and at least say hi in the video that he did on the Scholar's Bump Cap insert from this particular channel. So stay tuned for more preparedness videos and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.